Clout is this currency where you can throw it at someone and you'd be like, oh, this person definitely could hold the clout. They can't hold it. You have to hold it. It's a tree. You got to grow it. It's a money tree. You got to grow it. What is up, everyone? It's Russo. I hope everyone is doing well. Today's ASMR sip is 1907Y.com. Keep on code Russo. ASMR Spritz Intelligent Elephant H2O. Here are your noises. You gotta smell it. You gotta smell it to buy it. You gotta buy it to smell it. Dyslexia. Today I'm going to be reacting to the 30 day trend challenge. I saw Greg's video reacting to the 30 day trend challenge. I don't know if this is like, well, first off, BS Cloud Grab. I don't know if this is like, should I even give this clout attention? This is like, ridiculous but essentially this TikToker wants to build a following and he decided to just run trend for 30 days and we're about to see what he looks like and he's very young and i have made content on trend i'm not a fan of trend and if the guy his name is fino trend watches this video watch my dirty bulking video because you don't need trend dude it's probably made the results worse because you have a hyper fast metabolism. Let's get into it. I completed the 30 day trend challenge. And All right, right off the bat, way more natural gains left on the table. Your FFMI is trash. You shouldn't be using the most powerful androgen right off the bat. You're like jumping in the deep end. And overall, I don't think it's going to help considering this is a food issue. And this is me looking at you within the first three seconds. And the results might just shock you. The challenge is simple. Take trend for 30 days and see how much progress you can actually make. Starting this challenge- This is such a stupid fucking challenge. And the thing with TikTok is there will be other kids that do this. This is what's insane about this shit. It's the most toxic injectable you can fuck around with. It passes through the blood brain barrier. This is like one of those drugs where, okay, you're an IFBB pro or you're aspiring to be a super high level competitive power lifter. You've already put in the work. You've already used other steroids to build a base physique. You want to use the holy grail trend? Okay, this is a skinny guy starting out in the deep end without even thinking about diet first. And this is where the shortcut bullshit is ridiculous because he's probably just destroying his body and he thinks he's going to blow up with clout. And here I am talking about it. So it's getting him the attention. And these guys, they think all attention is good attention. Let me tell you something about, you know, having a following. Your reputation is everything. And at the beginning, all attention is good attention, but eventually you fall off if you can't maintain some sort of reputable dignity. This challenge wasn't easy, as it was difficult to find a reliable source of trend. But after a few days of searching, I finally found one. And I It's really easy to find sources of trend. If you know about the forums, you know about Jalosnik who tests all the raws for you and people send their shit out for testing all the time. You can literally see which UGL is putting out the best shit. But, you know, it's like this kid got his hands on trend so easily. Am I surprised? No, I feel like this could, this is just like add to cart, order, boom, done. I was ready to start the challenge. Here's me on day one. For reference, I'm about 6'4", 160 pounds. All right, he's 6'4", 160. So extremely tall, lanky individual. It's not an androgen problem. It's a food intake problem. His food intake, in my opinion, based on me being a hard gainer, also with a hyper fast metabolism, should be upwards of an actual 5,000, possibly 7,000 calories a day for him to start fighting against this metabolism on this frame. To put in perspective, Trend's gonna speed up your metabolism even farther. You know, it's not really a good bulker for someone like this. You know, I'd rather see him do like Diana ball, right? D ball only cycle in high school, right? That makes more sense, not Trend, not Trend. Like why, why are we using Trend? Is it for the coin? of, oh, Trend's the most fucking crazy injectable. I'm just gonna do it right off the bat. This is not fun in games. This is like extreme level pharmacology biohacking that skews a bunch of biomarkers and Trend skews the most biomarkers. In these videos, I had no size at all and pretty much no definition. This all changed around day seven as I- 
Okay, first off, no size at all, no definition. You had size, you had definition. You didn't have any size near needing enhancement. Your two gonads, your testicles, can saturate all the skeletal AR. You needed calories. Instead, you bought Trend. I became really vascular, and I mean way more vascular than I was. While I was on Trend, I felt amazing, as I could work out as much as I wanted, and I would never feel tired at all. I also couldn't stop. So Trend hyperstimulates the central nervous system. It's literally like your central nervous system is more powerful than your skeletal muscles when you're a guy like this guy. If you get too strong too quickly, you work out too hard too long. This is how you tear ligaments, joints, tendons, and muscles off the bone because the CNS is way farther ahead from the trend than the rest of your body. Eating, like I was seriously eating all the time. My strength also shot. I really don't believe you're eating all the time, dude. As someone who bulked like crazy and went from a 140 pound long distance runner to I weighed in at 257 this morning, I do not think you eat enough. I really don't. I would love to see a day of eating. I would like to see how you're trying to offset this hyper fast metabolism without the trend because the trend's speeding it up even worse right you look more vascular but you also look more flat because the trend flattened you out even worse got up significantly as my bench press went from 135 to 190 pounds and you can't bench 135 in this your butt is coming off the ground just the basics dude you need trend to do the basics is this like your clout goal like i don't understand if you can't bench 135 you just need fucking food you don't need trend if your bro is not going to be like bro you didn't do that put your ass on the bench do an actual rep of 135 before you go on tiktok and state it just three weeks. I also want to say that just because I did this challenge doesn't mean that I think anyone else should. I don't recommend that anyone should do this. Now I don't recommend anyone should do this, but I'm doing this for clout, shock, value, and gambling with my health, essentially. This is not someone who I would think needs trend at all, right? Upon glance for a millisecond, no. You don't need trend, dude. Let's see the insane amount of muscle that I put on. I ended up gaining around 30 pounds. I have the most muscle that I've- So, again, you could have gained way more weight just eating food correctly. This is all going to fade away as the trend goes out. You go back to your baseline physique, which is so minuscule, right? You built no foundation and you'll deteriorate. This is this instant gratification bullshit. Bodybuilding isn't about instant gratification. Bodybuilding is about extreme samurai discipline, bull in the china shop discipline. The constant repetition of going to the gym and thinking you can change your body and developing that crazy discipline and mentality is the main thing you can derive from bodybuilding. And then if you're smart, you put it into something else into your life. If you think it's just about putting on muscle quickly, that's not what it's about. It's about pushing a limit. Males need to push a limit to reach their true peaks. I've ever had while still looking really lean. I mean, it's just crazy how much progress you can make in just 30 days. If this video gets a thousand likes, I'll- If this video gets a thousand likes, you know? It's like this generation that's coming up. I hope my content gets seen by more of these guys. I'm a guy who did SARMs only at 18 and a half years old, terrified, using fucking minuscule SARMs, not even shutting off my HBTA. And that was me. I was a four sport athlete in high school, long distance runner, podiumed wrestling. Everyone makes fun of that, that I actually podiumed in Western Pennsylvania, the hardest state wrestling up a weight class because I got my ass beat by the champion. My training partner was the champion of the weight class I should have been in. Couldn't beat him. So I podiumed above the weight class I was supposed to be. So in my opinion, that's like more impressive. And then I switched into bodybuilding around junior year of high school and bodybuilt all throughout those years. I had so much discipline in the gym. And more importantly, I realized that, oh, it's not the drugs. It, it's this calorie thing. It's this metabolism thing. It's this basal metabolic rate thing that I need to attenuate to as far as to make progress in the gym. I have friends in high school, dude, who could bench 315, 405 completely natty. And they started off benching 135 barely. 
Me and Dante in his basement. I'll Andrew throw up Dante. I watched him go from 135 when we first started lifting to 405. The dude ate like a fucking horse. He didn't take gear. He's fucking natty. He's a freak. You have the RNA genetics open at that age to hyper adapt your body towards this bodybuilding goal. You don't need trend until your FFMI is 25. Go look at an FFMI calculator. And if it's not anywhere near 25, you don't need trend. If this guy was jumping on Austrian, I wouldn't be fucking talking about it, but he's doing trend for clicks and views, which is going to work at the start, but I don't think it's going to hold and last. Clout is this currency where you can throw it at someone and you'd be like, oh, this person definitely could hold the clout. They can't hold it. You have to hold it. It's a tree. You got to grow it. It's a money tree. You got to grow it. And if you think that this is your key to building this following on TikTok, by convincing other young, insecure body dysmorphia males to jump into trend before even learning how to diet correctly, do you think you're doing the world a favor? No, you're not. But I get it. It's a hyper competitive world. Everyone is competing against each other internationally on these stages of these social media applications, and everyone is trying to one up each other. I get it. But sometimes the audience just likes an authentic individual who's super based and evolves during their journey. They want to see a struggle. They want to see you evolve and they want to see you be realistic with yourself. Me being realistic with you, you didn't need trend. You did this for likes and clout. Here I am talking about it on a BS clout grab, but I don't think it's going to last. And I really hope you learn how to diet because you'll be stacked at 6'4" when you're like 26, 27 years old, if you eat correctly. I have no doubt in my mind that you'll completely fill out that frame, look like a monster, and you won't need to use the world's harshest injectable androgen. Trend is made for IFBB Pro bodybuilders. They need that to saturate IGF-1 in all their skeletal muscle. You barely have any skeletal muscle AR. You could basically saturate that with your current nutsack. So until you get to an FFMI of 25, I suggest you stop with this bullshit. I will see you guys in my next video.